These are the adventures of the wreck ship Incompetence. Its season-long mission to explore new lands and capture new Pokémon. To boldly go where no trainer has gone before. Oh no, it's quicksand. That's quicksand. That is quicksand. Dig, 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 dig. I'm a little bit of an idiot. It's fine. People have got me raging in the comments. Oh no, you totally just ruined. I was gonna rhyme. I was going to say I'm gonna make an iron pick real quick. That rhymes. Yeah, good job. And you, yeah, thank you. So is that your like preferred method of suicide SPG? Just hugging a cactus? I drowned at one point, but I've come to the conclusion that's too slow for my life to make. Join our brave and clueless crew on its adventures in Pixel League Season 2. Alright, I'm going to mark this on my map so I can uh, not get lost again. At least we knew we were in the general direction. Yep, that's the one, because that has the icy stone out in front. Probably shouldn't jump off like that every time I dismount, but it's fun. Waypoints. New waypoint. Ice Poopy Center. Got so many waypoints to everything. There we go. Heal our Numo back up. Yeah, he should be 35, I believe, is the evolution level. Actually, I will be back in just a second when I look that up. Alright, I'm back, and we actually have a really, really good thing. It's actually 33, so it's actually earlier than I thought it was. So we just need to fly along until we find something that isn't going to instantly kill us. And pillow swines are, or swinubs are actually not too bad. We might be able to get him to evolve tonight. Oh, we got some snowballs now. We have a snowball fight. 37 pillow swine. I think I'm going to hold off on fighting that so I don't have to run back to the Poké Center immediately. <laughs> Should be pretty close. Ooh, Magnemites. Didn't realize they, this one might supposed to be hanging around from earlier in the day, because I don't think they spawn at night. Magikarp. Yes! Numo's leveling up and evolving! Do, 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 do. Is that another Poké? No, that's the same Poké Center. <laughs> Come on, Numo, evolve! Carp. And... Magikarp. Yes! Ooh, and we'll get rid of Curse and we'll add Rock Slide in. Nice. Alright, so now we have a camera up. It's going to be amazing because it's going to be significantly easier to get lava and things cooked now. It's also not a bad one to have on the team for variety. So now I think we really do need to get Little Kipper evolved up. I can't have my starter sitting at level 8 for the entire series. That just doesn't make any sense. So let's find something high level to fight, and we'll just do a switch fight. All right, 36 pillow swine. And then we'll switch into Camerupt, who now has a considerably higher amount of damage output. Ooh! That pillow swine has ancient power. We're just going to throw Pokeballs at it and try and catch it. Because it will evolve into a Mammoth Swine, so we can actually get our Mammoth Swine. Hooray! I'm really glad it used ancient power against me. All right, we can get a Mammoth Swine. That is one of the hardest things um, that we needed to get off of our list. All right, now to just survive this fight with the Pillow Swine, and we should get quite a few levels on Little Kipper. All right, Little Kipper's leveling up. A lot. Holy crap. Um, let's get rid of Growl for Bide. Let's ignore Foresight. And we will cancel his evolution so he actually keeps those moves. And we'll evolve him next level. Dugongs would wreck me, but these Pillow Swines are really good to kill with Camera Up. So I think that's a pretty good... Or we could just die. Um, Golet can handle him as well. Magnitude should be more than sufficient. Or not. Actually, Dynamic Punch would do a considerable amount. Um, Nightshade as well. Just whittle them down bit by bit while they're confused. Alright, 
There we go. Now we have ourselves a... What is it? Marshall. That's what it is. Couldn't remember for the life of me what his evolution form was. Yay, little Kipper's not so little anymore. Yay! Alright, I need to hunt bosses, so I am going to... Head back to the base and get some of this uh, iron and stuff sitting in our chest so we can start crafting it. The Pokeballs. Let's see. Is there any bosses as we fly back? Those are really, really hard to spot when you're flying, although they're not terrible. As you can usually tell what's different colored. And by flying, we cover a lot more territory, so we actually encounter a lot more chances for bosses. Since we're not looking at the same 20 Pokemon again and again. Alright, we're almost back to base. Come on, show me a boss. I need to find a boss. It's funny because I actually. Oop. Ah, crap. Guard. Hate how you fall off when you hit water. <laughs> water landings, not Kiwi's specialty. Come on, Kiwi. There we go. Alright, so we need to find an orb and a master ball. Those are our two primary goals. Ow. Okay, I really need to be careful when dismounting like that. Also, my bed is gone. That's not good. I need to replace that. Does it actually consume? Nope, it doesn't consume the bucket. Nice. So then we can take our camera up after we heal. And now we have an infinite source of all of our cooking needs. All right, camera up comes out. We'll take a bucket of lava. And we can put the bucket of lava in our furnace. And then raw pork chops, iron ore. Iron can go directly in. I believe we've got cobblestone, so that can go in. Gravel doesn't cook. Snowballs don't cook. So I think those will go into the miscellaneous junk. Uh, gravel. Keep the dirt. Can use the aluminum. Low sweep can go in here. I love. Oh wow, is that our leftovers or is somebody else's leftovers? Ooh. Okay, so now we have power weight, power anklet. Power weight, I believe, buffs health, so that's kind of cool. And then we've got ores and stuff. Put those in there. Keep the rare candies and our diamonds separate. And our lucky egg. Oh, we should have been training with the lucky egg. I completely forgot we had that. And then some plant stuff. Perfect. Alright. So I was going to do something. Hmm. I don't really know what I was going to do. Oh well. Alright, let's go hunt for some more bosses. I think that's the best solution. When I had something on my mind, I'll, I'll think of it. I'm really forgetful when it comes to stuff in Minecraft. I'm like, ooh, there's something over here to do. Ooh, there's something over here. And I believe we have our hidden loot. Oh, no. I thought it, we had it claimable once a week. That would have been nice to be able to keep hitting that up for uh, potential stuff. Let's, let's head out over this way. I haven't explored this way. We do need to find a plains biome. I don't remember what we needed from a plains biome, but I know we needed a plains biome. What was in... I really can't remember. Hmm. That will annoy me. So we have sort of an icy area. Oh, we got some deep ocean. There's some Carvana. 
Oh, up, 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 don't, don't, don't land in the ocean. Oh, God, I don't want to have to swim to shore. Yeah, we're out here, and there's just a lot of islands. Yeah, so we have a potential to find Kyogre out in deep ocean, so I need to keep on the lookout for deep ocean. All right, here we are. So this can be our Kyogre hunting spot. So we have a Groudon hunting spot and a Kyogre hunting spot now. Oops, uh, waypoints, add deep ocean. All right. So we can't see Kyogres. I don't think they're, oh, Kyogres I think are nighttime spawns where Groudons are daytime spawns. So we wouldn't find them anyway, even if we were looking. And wow, that's a mountain. What biome are we in here? Is that volcano? Wow, now that whoop, 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 is a volcano. Holy crap. Ooh, a coconut tree. We haven't gotten one of those yet. Looting all the trees. Oh, I love this axe now that it's enchanted. It's so much faster. Just give me, there we go, coconut sapling. That's all I needed. And I believe we might actually be in a plains biome now. I don't know, it looks a little bit like a moor or a swamp. Grassland! Sweet! I believe grasslands have the same Pokemon as plains, yep. Oh wow, hello giant Squirtle. Alright, you know what, let's try catching the Squirtle. Uh, how do I get off? Shift. There we are. Alright, giant squirtle. Let's handle it with Ghastly. Gas. Actually, a little kipper would work really well against the. Come on, squirtle. Fight me. Alright, we can do just some tackles. There we are. Squirtle. Come on, squirtle. Join our team. You will make an enormous, enormous Blastoise. Come on, Squirtle. don't be a pain, Squirtle. We know you want to be on our team. Okay. Volt, gonna need you to paralyze this Squirtle. Squirtle. Alright, you're down to almost no health. You're paralyzed. You're gonna get in the Pokeball now. We need to get Volt up into an Ampharos, but I think that's a fairly higher level evolution. I think it's 30-something. We'll see. Yeah, there's a Squirtle. Yay! Alright. Ooh, Tentacool. Tentacool is definitely one of the ones I have high up on my list of Pokemon that I want for my main team. Let's catch him as well. I don't... No real reason not to. It's got acid. Nice. Okay, I can't hit it anymore with that, so I'll hit it with a water gun. There we go. So tentacles are really, really, really good tanks. And having water and poison, and they can learn some of the best water and poison moves, it makes them very, very valuable. You can also teach them toxic spikes, which makes them great to set up your uh, battles, because poison is just... It's devastating when you have continuous poison hitting your Pokemon. All right, Kiwi. Let's keep hunting for bosses. Oh, there's a wild Blastoise right over there. Coral Reef. I could get water stones and stuff like that, but I can hunt those whenever. And I could be down there for days mining them. Uh, what are we over here? This is a Taiga. We got plenty of that back by the uh, Cherry Blossom base, so no need to mark it. Tangela. Kind of cool to see that in the fen. Or more, whatever we are in. Who's that? 
What kind of block is that? Is that mud? Huh, cool. It's like a mud or something. Still learning all the new ground and terrain types. Oh, oh, we're coming into mountains. Oh, yeah. Red boss Pidgeot. All right. Ooh, and a yellow boss Pidgey right next to it. Oh, this is going to be the best thing ever. Okay. Volt. Let's take on the Pidgey first. Start with a Thunder Wave. And then Thunder Shock it to death. That is a 72 Pidgey. Holy crap. That red boss is going to be terrible. Oh, no, the yellow was the harder one. Crap, why did I start with the yellow one? Um, dynamic punch to confuse? Nope. Crap. Um, Nightshade, just keep doing 38 damage continuously. How much is that going to do? Oh, no, it's normal type. I can't do it. Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, dynamic punch. Stop missing with dynamic punch. Oh boy, we're in trouble now. No, we can't let these two bosses go. Rock slide. That's effective. Ooh, and it flinches too. So we keep spamming it. Yes. All the rock slides. All the rock slides. Come on, boss loot. We got an orb. Yes. Mission 1 accomplished. Calm Mind TM, Elixir, Full Heal, Leaf Stone, Dubious Disc. Alright. Well, Full Heal, we'll get our camera up back up to full health. Maybe? Or no, Full Heal is all status, is crap. Um, Elixir doesn't help us here. <sighs> crap. Okay, Red Boss Pidgeot should not be as bad. But we are really limited on what we can actually fight him with. I really need... Okay, potions are next on our to-do list. Because we need to be able to fight these bosses. But two bosses next to each other can't beat that. Come on, Rock Slide. Come on. Yes, you can keep buffing yourself all you want. That's perfectly fine. Ow. Okay. Um. Yes. Confused, right? Oh, crap, Confuse Ray has no effect. That's right. Hypnosis. Okay, we can't do anything here. Um, little Kipper. Water Gun. Oh yeah, we're we're totally going to kill this thing with Water Gun. Luckily, Roost doesn't work yet. So it basically just has Tackle. There we go. Come on. Keep killing it. That's it, little Kipper. You can do this. Be the miracle. Be the miracle. That is one soaked Pidgeot. There we go. Show me the items. Ooh, wow. And Rick Gasly just leveled up a ton. Uh, let's get rid of Mean Look. Mud Bomb beats Mud Slap. We got an Orb, Hail, Grass Knot, another Hail, a Sunstone. So we got two Orbs now, and a Grass Knot. And we do not want Ghastly to evolve, otherwise it'll forget all those moves. Awesome! So, that was great. Those were two perfect bosses. I cannot believe the luck of that. Holy crap. Alright, um... Wow. All right, let's head back to base, and then we need to get a hold of a water stone, which I believe we have back at base. And we can use that to turn that into an ice orb, and we can start powering up our ice orb, because I think we need some 375 kills while holding the ice orb in our hot bar in order to fill it. So we have a mission, capturing an Articuno. We don't really have the team for it at the moment, but if we can get a Master Ball, we don't need a team for it. Oh, 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 come on, come on, up, 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 up. Do not hit that water. Oh, we are way out of here. 
Oh, wow. That volcano looks awesome. Look at all those Thunderstone shards. You know what? I'm going to park up on top of this volcano and mark it. And there's a lamp in as well. Waypoints. Waypoint volcano. That looks like a cool volcano. And we actually have a lot of uh, fire Pokemon that will spawn on and around volcanoes like Lampet and stuff like that. Alright, and we need to make potions. Because it would have been really nice to have had Camerupt back up to full health when we needed him out there in battle. And potions actually aren't that hard to make. Um, I believe it is... Oh, was it? It's sugar... I can't remember. But I did install Craft Guide. Someone suggested doing that in the comments. So I now can just click on and press G and it'll tell me the uh, recipes and stuff. So we can do that as soon as we land. Otherwise I'm going to crash into a tree or something stupid. We also probably should make some running shoes. So we're going to need to go... Okay, that's what we need the planes for. We need to get some uh, leather so we can make some running shoes. And that will give us a generic speed boost across the board, which will help quite a bit when we're flying around and traveling and searching for things. Alright. Base, sweet base. Alright, heal all my Pokemon first off. Gotta take care of these guys, because they are doing great, great things for us. Alright, and then if I hit G... Okay, recipe list. Um, oh, wow. There's a lot of potions. Alright, this potion is milk, wheat, and glass bottle. Okay, so we have to catch a mill tank. Did we already have a mill tank? I don't think we did. No. Crap. Alright, let's take a look at our spiel, though. Let's see, Sfeel has... That's what I came back here the first time for. Totally forgot. Alright, careful nature. We have our ancient power knowing pillow swine that has a hardy nature. Our squirtle has a hardy nature as well. And our tentacool has a hasty nature. I don't think any of those are super, super valuable natures. So we'll hang on to those guys for now. All right, so, put all these TMs in here. Grass Stone, Dubious Disc, Full Heal Elixir, Sunstone, the other Hail TM, go plant our Coconut Sapling. Right there. Some more apricorns, so when I do some off-camera Pokeball crafting, I can make a whole ton of really, really good Pokeballs. I'm actually starting to get to the point where level balls become effective because I have some high-level Pokemon in my team. So that is definitely good. And then these can go in the food thing. Alright, cool. Got everything organized again. Eat a little bit to get my health up. So we need to find a mill tank. And I needed to get a water stone. There we are. So an orb and a water stone makes an orb of frozen souls. So now we just have to fill up the... Okay, I don't know why that there's, there's a texture glitch on that. But we can now, every time we kill, start filling up that Orb of Frozen Souls so we can get an Articuno. And by the time we fill that up, we hopefully should encounter enough bosses to find ourselves a Master Ball. Alright, which way do I want to explore next? Hmm. I don't know, I think I'm going to take a little quick break and we'll be back. <laughs> 